Hey guys, welcome to our today's tutorial. Let's try to look at this question that came uh, in 2019, 2016 paper in pharmaceutical chemistry, which is under uh, spectroscopy, electromagnetic radiation. All right, so describe the structure of a compound B from a molecular formula C15H14O and the data below, which is uh, proton and MRA spectra and IRA spectra. So here, we have uh, a molecular formula which is the C15, H14, and oxygen, like that one. Then remember, we have uh, IR spectra, which we have, uh, have been given as uh, it is near 1720, like that. So now, looking at the data that we have been given, NMR and also IR spectra. Remember, IR spectra is just a technique that will help us to identify the functional group so please if you didn't watch the previous video go back and watch it before watching this one so that you may understand what you're going to do here all right so ira spectra we have uh, this which is uh, 1720 which is near 1720 so here they have said near 1720 so here we can say near 1720 the the functional group is a carbonyl containing compound like this one. It's a carbonyl group, but we don't know what uh, 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 carbonyl containing compound is. Is this an aldehyde? Is this the, um, the ester? Is this the acid or ketone? But looking at that, we, we, we said from 1720 to 1705, you're going to find that it is a ketone. So we cannot say it is a ketone now because we need to have this other data on NMR. So right, so here we can say even a ketone, but we are not fully uh, to say it is a ketone. Okay, so we have identified the functional group under IR, which is uh, near 1720 per centimeter, so which is this uh, carbonyl group. All right, so here, proton NMR. So let's try to look at this proton NMR. So this proton NMR. So remember, one here they've uh, said a singlet here. So when they say singlet, when they say singlet, yeah, singlet. Then here they, they have said like this. So here, when they say uh, singlet, then here which is two point two zero, which is uh, uh, parts per million. This is the symbol which they use for us to know that this is a chemical shift. Then here, 3H, it is integration, which is the number of hydrogen. All right, so here, when they say singlet, for us to know uh, uh, where it is connected to, we need to use N plus 1 rule, which will give us the number of peaks, which is singlet. Singlet means 1. Then the, num uh, the, the N here, it means the number of hydrogen on the adjacent atom or carbon. So here when they say N is equal to 1, here when this 1 comes other side it will be 1. So here N is equal to uh, 0. So when they say singlet, it means that it is connected to the atom that doesn't have the number of hydrogen. You see? So here 2.2 again. From 0 0.2 to 2.5 it can be CH. So here CH, it can be CH3, CH2, CH, just like that. So you need to know um, those things. So now, here, a singlet, we can tell to say this, from here, we have this integration, which is CH3, which is connected. So here, connected to the one which doesn't have the number of hydrogen. So here, looking at that, we only have the functional group, which is this one like this that is the one that we have which is singlet but singlet which is ch3 connected to the one which doesn't have the number of hydrogen and which one on the formula here or, or the one that we have here it is just this one we have only one oxygen like that so here let's go to the other one which is singlet again then here it is uh, 5.08 then one 
hydrogen like that one. So here again, singlet, it means that it's connected to the one which doesn't have the number of hydrogen, you see. So now what are we going to do? So here it means that it has only one hydrogen, so CH, connected to the one which doesn't have who, the number of hydrogen. Which one do we have? It's only this. So connected to C, like this one, which is the, the carbonyl group. Then we'll come to this. So here, CH, it is not only connected to this, which is uh, the one which, is, uh, uh, which is, doesn't have the number of hydrogen, but it has, only, it has also the provision of two. Uh, bonds to be connected to so that it can be uh, stable. So what are we going to do? So here, look at this. Mouth plate. When they say mouth plate, and they have given us this, which is uh, 7.25, then with uh, 10 uh, hydrogen like that. So mouth plate is aromatic uh, hydrogen, which can be a benzene or what. But I said that from, so here, a mouth plate, it can be from 6, here 6.9 to, to 9. Then here we are going to find even the benzene there at 7.25 or in between that. So here we can say it's connected to benzene. But remember, benzene, when it is connected like this, it has how many number of hydrogen? So here this is a benzene like that. It has how many number of hydrogen? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. But here, we are, they are saying it is 10 hydrogen. So it means that we have how many benzene? We have two benzene here, benzene uh, molecule. So what are we going to do? So we are going to say see, CH here, it is connected to this, but it has got two other provision uh, in which uh, it can be connected to for, for it to be stable. So here, it is connected to this one and D. Two benzene molecule two benzene molecule like that all right so let's try to draw now the structure here remember i'm saying ch3 is connected to this one and uh, this singlet so here why this is connected to this one again you need to see uh, the range in this chemical shift here it is nearly to this one it can't be connected to that one you get so here i'm going to write the structure now with the information that I have here, I said CH3 here, which I have here, CH3 uh, is connected to carbonyl group. So here I'm going to say CH3 connected to the carbonyl group, like this one, you see. Let me just uh, write it down here. Let me just write it down there. So here, Okay. Okay, so it is CH3 connected to carbonyl group like this one. Then here they're saying on the so here is singlet here. On the other singlet here, which has only one peak, uh, which has only one hydrogen, is connected to carbonyl group again and to benzene. So here, what am I going to do? I'm just going to say this one, it is also connected to, so here, let me just write like this. Okay, so here it will be CH like this one. CH is connected to this. Again, it's connected to the one which has it. How many, uh, it's connected to two benzene. So here I'm going to write here, this is a benzene like this one, again here is a benzene like this one. Then, so even, you can even write like this, hydrogen to show it like this, like this. So this is the compound that they wanted for you just to get 80 marks like that one. So now, look at that, let's try to, to this, this, is this, this is the structure that we have, which is uh, uh, C15, H12 and uh, oh here. So let's try to to calculate the number of hydrogen, the number of carbon, and the number of oxygen. The number of oxygen, we know that is only one, which is this one. So the number of uh, carbon, let's try. So we want to have uh, the number of carbons to correspond to the uh, to the molecular formula. So here, we're going to say 
one here two here then three here then here it has got um, so here you can say one two then three like that so here so when you count this one two three then here this is a benzene which has got six number of hydrogen or six number of carbons one two three four five six but we have two so six times two is twelve twelve plus three is fifteen so here we're going to say fifteen then what of the number of hydrogen the number of hydrogen here there is one two three four five then six seven eight nine ten uh eleven 12, 13, 14. So here I'm going to say 14 with the oxygen here, which is like this. So that is the molecular formula that we had at first. And this is the, the structure. Looking at the, the data that we have on uh, IR, which is near 1720, we have said this carbonyl like this. And this is a ketone. You can see this is a ketone, you see, like that. Then here, NMR singlet, we have, we have uh, used this data to come up with the, the structure. So this is the structure that we wanted, guys, for us to get 8 marks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and share. If you have any question, inbox me then. We'll make arrangements and discuss.